Heart disease is the number one killer. Many people could be on the verge of a sudden heart attack, something that can change their lives forever. News 2's John Pastrek shows us how it happened to a well-known St. Francisville businessman who is speaking out about his heart attack to help others reduce their risk. I think God has a unique sense of humor that he put a jeweler inside of this big redneck body. These are John Patrick's gems, diamonds, and diamonds in the rough cattle. But in July of 2016, something pulled him away from his jewelry store and cattle business and put him in the hospital. I'm John Patrick. I'm 58 years old, and I had a heart attack. This self-proclaimed workaholic was feeding his cattle when he got overheated, experienced shortness of breath, and an excruciating pain in his chest. It actually felt like someone had taken a big pair of tongs and put in my chest and clamped down. It hurt really bad. Uh, I have a fairly high tolerance for pain, but it, it made me stop. John was rushed to the hospital. And then the cath lab at the Lane Cardiovascular Center, where doctors discovered what was causing his heart attack. And you can see as the blood is flowing, you can see that there's a very tight almost completely blocked blood vessel. There's a trickle of flow, and you can see the narrowing right there. So they opened the blocked artery and inserted a stent like this to keep the blood flowing. This is a picture of John's heart. On the left, a close-up of the blocked artery. On the right, the stent inserted, the artery wide open. John says he felt almost immediate relief. I don't know that uh, I panicked because of my close relationship with my Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm ready to go to heaven. It's going to be a much better world than this one is. But if it's just as soon, I would rather stay for a while. Every 40 seconds, someone dies of heart disease. John was lucky because he was a ticking time bomb. Doctors discovered three more blockages and inserted three more stents. He told me I had an 80% chance of dying. I was very fortunate to be here. Two weeks after the heart attack, John was able to attend his youngest son's wedding. And now he's back at work, at his shop, Come on, girl. at his ranch. But this workaholic now plays by a different rule. Bottom line, it's better to be alive tomorrow than get it done today and be dead tomorrow. Hi, John. And he's hey, drastically changed his life. He goes in for regular heart checkups. He also exercises more, and he's changed his diet, dropping a lot of weight. I feel like that my quality of life is better now than it was before the heart attack. So all that said, it was not a terrible bad thing. What do you want other people to learn from your story? What's the number one lesson? When you're tired and you're 50 years old, and maybe a little overweight, and you can't figure out why you're continuously tired, go to that heart doctor, let him do a heart cath on you. When they look in there and they see that you do not have any blockages, problems Saw, move on. No, oh, come on. Great advice from this cattle rancher and jeweler who now polishes gems of family, friendship, and faith, helping others reduce their risk and find heart health. It's a fun life. God has given me more time, and I am so thankful for it. You can meet many heart attack survivors like John at the Capital Area Heart Walk. It's coming up this Saturday, April 8th at LSU's Old Front 9. For more information or to register, just log on to CapitalAreaHeartWalk.org. And on our next report, a New Roads fisherman who has a story about the big one that didn't get away. Not redfish or bass, but a heart attack that almost hooked him for good. And he's sharing his story to save lives. That's Wednesday on Reduce Your Risk.